I'm Nachola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative! Hello friends, this week we're going to be adventuring to Morocco. This is part of my painting series called Part of Me and we're on episode 3. For this series I am exploring different places where I've lived or travelled and that have been important to me and I've taken a little part of it home with me. So I'm going to take you along on that journey with me, show you some of the things that I think are special about the place and that really made an impression on me. If you've watched episode one or two so far, you'll see we have visited Italy twice, one of my favourite countries. We've been to Florence, we've been to Capri, and I created paintings of a woman that represented that place to me. Since we're going to Chef Schauen in the Rift Mountains, which is known for its blue washed walls, I've changed into a blue outfit so that I'm in the mood to paint in blue. Even my socks! So let's head to the city of Chef Schauen and get some inspiration of what we're going to put together to create our beautiful blue woman. This city has an amazing backdrop with the Rift Mountains and then you have the beautiful wash of the white and the blue on the walls and then these amazing arches and all the little details within the beautiful alleyways. I've got my canvas board and this is the size that we're going to create our beautiful Chef Shawn woman. I'm going to create a little grid on here so I can get the right proportions of what I want to draw and then we can start getting all those blue colours on. I've done a little initial sketch of the silhouette that I would like for the woman. So she's going to be having the traditional head scarf and looking over her shoulder. This is my initial sketch. We've got the frame of the beautiful doorway. We've got the woman in the centre looking back over her shoulder with her head scarf and we've got the star is going to be one of the symbols that we have on the back. Now time for the colour. Of course we're going with the blues, the different blues that the walls are painted with and this is going to be a variety of different shades to really accent that the blue is the most important colour that's in this area and then some other contrasting colours we'll have added in after that. It really shows how colour can transform a place and also create its identity. This city is known as the blue city in the mountains and so people go to see it because it's unique. It's not often you come across a whole town that is painted. The soft blues and whites in the city really do contrast the bright greens of the mountains that surround it and the area it's in. So we've got all of the base colours on now, so now it's the exciting part where I add the patterns. The patterns for me really make the place come alive in the painting. There are beautifully tiled patterns everywhere, so I really wanted to get that into my piece. I'm chalking out the design now and then I'll paint it in afterwards. I really wanted that hand painted feel and we're going for another shade of blue again and so each one will be slightly different even though it's a repetitive pattern. I love seeing the different shapes and symbols that different countries use in their decoration, in their artwork and in their beautifying of a place. It's always so different to each country and unique to each place, which is so exciting. For the pattern on the scarf, I really wanted to try and create something that was like all of the different buildings that have been brought together by the blue. It's unified, they're different designs, but they are all still unique and individual. So the pattern is kind of all these different shapes working together on the scarf and some standing out more than others, but it all being unified by the blue. I would definitely recommend going for a hike in the mountains around Chef Chouin, um, because you get this beautiful panorama view and you can see that the town is right in the centre. But for me I could see all these dots of these different plants that were kind of prickly looking so I really wanted to include that in the patterning too. All the windows have these amazing wire frames and so I um, included that in the design of her caftan. And it's finished. This is the final piece, Chef Chouin. I 
I'd love to know what you think of this piece down in the comments. Let me know, do you think it's a good representation of Chef Shawan? Have you been or do you want to go now? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like to travel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next creative adventure.